And still on Niger, there is mounting pressure on the regional body to explore all options to resolving the standoff, but jettison the use of force contained in ECOWAS resolution. The sanctions imposed on the landlocked West African country are already being implemented, and it is having a biting effect on border towns between Nigeria and Niger Republic. In this special report, TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde tells us the plight of the people in Jibia, a town that shares a border with Niger Republic. The impact of ECOWAS sanctions on Niger Republic is taking a toll on residents along the border towns between the landlocked country and Nigeria. Already there is growing tension in these communities as they count down to the expiration of the regional bloc's ultimatum for Niger's coup leaders to restore the post President Mohamed Bazoum or risk military intervention. Jibia shares border with Niger Republic. This town that seems to be enjoying respite from attacks by armed bandits and terrorists is now facing an economic meltdown. And that could get worse if ECOWAS continues to tighten the news on the neck of the military coup plotters in Niger Republic. Gide Mohamed is the chairman of GBR People's Forum. His transistor radio is now a good companion as he listens to news and developments on the standoff between the military in neighboring Niger and ECOWAS. He is worried that the coup plotters have called the bluff of the regional bloc and are willing to damn all consequences. Not in support of this situation. And they are there too, they are finding it very difficult for their lives to, 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 it has affected their lives and all ramifications. Mm. Yes, it has affected and they are crying because you know Niger, uh, they depend uh, almost largely on Nigeria in terms of the economic uh, uh, condition. Yeah. It depends on Nigeria. Yeah. So in this closure, people are finding it very, very difficult, especially in all aspects, especially in terms of food, in terms of other uh, social or uh, 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 essential commodities. Yeah. They are finding it difficult and they are crying and they are not in support of this uh, condition. They here in Jibia open markets, most of the food items sold are brought in from the Niger Republic through the land border. Inside these markets, it is hard to tell who is Nigerian or Nigerian, simply by looking at their faces. The ties that bind Jibia to Niger are stronger beyond the shared borders. Already, traders here are fast running out of supply and a food shortage is imminent if the blockade imposed by ECOWAS is not lifted. We will soon lack food to eat. Even people are beginning to lose jobs. There are young people engaged in transporting goods, loading of vehicles and even carrying goods from one place to the other. The border closure has pushed them out of jobs. We do not want any problem between Niger and Nigeria. We are one people. Trucks carrying food items and other commodities from Nigeria to Niger are stuck here in Jibia and cannot proceed until the borders are open. Some of the perishable food items may go bad if they do not get to the final consumers in good time. I met the leader of the Traders Association in Jibia town. He fears that the military option to resolve the standoff in Niger Republic will completely destroy the local economy in the border towns. We want the president to look into the matter and seek an amicable resolution. We do not want war in Niger. Whatever affects Niger will affect us too. We all feel uneasy around here. No one likes war. You only know the beginning but not the end. At this cattle market in Jibia, the whole place is scanty. The sellers are idle and there are no buyers in sight.
They bear the consequence of a military coup that pushed out Mohamed Bazoum's democratically elected government in Niamey, capital of Niger. The once vibrant and bustling cattle markets is now a plague. Many people come to this cattle market to make hands meet. Suddenly, the old value chain around the market has disappeared. We want a political solution to the military standoff in Niger. It is possible. Crossing from Nigeria into Niger through the available illegal routes on the porous borderline is risky, but we dared the odds. At some point, our guide warned us against filming our journey through the bush paths as it could spell doom. Not long from his advice, we were intercepted by the Nigerian soldiers who ordered we return to Gibia. Ties between Nigeria and Niger Republic date back to pre-independence era. But now this Siamese twin relationship between the two West African countries have been separated by this barricade. Until ECOWAS sanctions are lifted and this barricade raised, the movement of people and goods through the border will remain prohibited. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Gibia, Katsina State.